Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and in my hands is Shadow Doctor number one from Aftershock Comics out this week. And this is a comic that I've been looking forward to since it was announced. It's just a really cool concept, and thankfully the first issue lives up to the uh, high expectations I had built up leading to reading it. Uh, so it's written by Peter Calloway. George Ginty is the artist. Juan shows the colorist, Carl's Pritchett. Or Charles Pritchett is the letterer and back matter designer. All right, so this series. The series is uh, about Peter Calloway, or yeah, Peter Calloway's grandfather, um, Nathaniel, Nathan, uh, Nat is what they call him. And they, it's a story uh, based on reality. Um, you know, I, I don't know if all the details are perfectly down, but you know, it's a story about his father who's a surgeon in the 1930s. Uh, but he's uh, uh, African American, and you know back then that's not something that really happened. So what does his grandfather do? He goes off and goes and becomes a uh, surgeon and doctor for the mob. That this is his story it is basically a, an African American surgeon who goes out and uh, goes to work for the mob, and it's a really really fascinating debut. It like sets up the the story. It sets up. Um, the world and introduces you to uh, all the play main characters and, and like what their uh, deal is and um, and it's just it's really 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 good uh, you know one you know you could just do the story is complete made up and, and it would work the fact that this is based on a true story just makes it all the crazier and and reading the back matter about it like he it's not like a something where he's trying to praise what his grandfather did or like raise him up or you know create this mythology about him like he admits he did some very questionable things um you know just being involved with the mob at this time or just the mob in general uh was very questionable so like these are the things he wants to explore like this is a very you know, muddled history as far as his family. You know, one, you have this this grandfather who, who was pioneering, uh, you know, African-American man getting a medical degree and, and becoming a doctor during this time when he really wasn't allowed to practice. And he tried to, um, you know, he, he tried to get a job at hospital. They wouldn't let him. He tried to get a loan to open up his own practice. They wouldn't let him. Uh, so he turned to uh, the mob that he had some history with uh, during some some um, whiskey running. And the framing of the story is really, really interesting. It, it opens up with uh, Nathaniel as a kid, uh, younger, not really a kid, but younger self, uh, helping to run whiskey, and then him on his deathbed confessing and telling the story to his grandson. I think it's a grandson. Grandson or son. Um, and and kind of telling this and... and you know, I, I think reflecting upon his life, like it's it's a fascinating story, and I think there's so many families out there that have these crazy stories, and and they, um, you know, create myths out of them, and and hold them up when it's really not all that great stuff. Like this isn't, aren't necessarily things to be proud of. Um, you can kind of be in awe about them of like this is over the top stories and and over top history, but at the same time, you you know, you have to kind of own up and, and accept uh, this. The negative aspects of it. So that seems what the series is going to do. Um, and, and me, who I love mob stories, like, you know, I love Godfather, I love uh, Goodfellas, I love Scarface, I love all that stuff. So uh, to be able to read this sort of story, which is true and also will hopefully be you know, a little exaggerated for the comic audience, like, I'm, I'm psyched about it. It's just a really cool history uh, out there. Also, My Blue Heaven. My Blue Heaven, very underrated mob film and also the sequel to Goodfellas. Um, so this is the true story. The art, I think, is is really solid. Like it's it's some it's some beautiful, uh, good design. Um, I like the way the characters look. I you know it's you know I don't know how accurate it is for the uh, outfits and clothes of the time, but it looks really good to me. Um, so you know it's just solid, solid stuff. Like really, really solid stuff. And this is uh this is 1931 with. His grandfather trying to go and uh, become a doctor and, and is being denied. So overall, like just really, really good series. This is a solid, solid uh, comic, you know, based on a true story or, and and you know, bringing history to life or to bring history to, to comic page 
and not really life because it's not like people are acting this out. Um, but you know, exploring a really interesting time of of the nation and and, and aspects we might not think about it. Like it just seems really really cool. And the even better, there's just back matter that I think really opens things up because you you read it and it says you know this is a true story, but you get some actual stuff that shows this is a true story. Um, some stuff about his family, and you know I'm hoping something that that's something that continues throughout the series. Like I would really love to see more of that in the comic. I love that sort of extras in comics. Um, overall, this is just it's a hell of a debut. Like really, really fascinating stuff. Um, you know, this is one that I almost would wish was a graphic novel so I can go through and read the whole thing. Uh, but I'm going to take monthly just because I'm going to take and read this any way I can. It's out now in comic shops. So you can go get it. There's a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have affiliate links to our affiliate links. So we get a small percentage of that. By doing that, it helps support our sub site. <laughs> um, so thank you for that. But really, you should go support comic shops. And speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for opening us up with the review copy. We appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Now, if you're into comics, if you're into Aftershock, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, uh, making it consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.